What is going on, everyone? This is your man, King May, getting back with y'all right here on the King May YouTube channel. Y'all, we are back in Flint Hills. And, well, as always, have ourselves a busy, busy day. Today, we're going to be running around quite a bit as we're hopping in the old Chevy here. Today, we're going to be intermittently running out and making sure that Jake always has a gravity wagon ready to go. We're going to be going out there and uh, just getting them unloaded as needed here. But other than that, as we're heading on to the farm, he's out. It is, it is winter time and we need to finish getting our oats off of the fields now with that being said we still have things going on in here at the farm we still have things going on here at the ranch we're gonna be hey, <coughs> making sure that all the horses are fed and watered as well we uh we're gonna be making sure that all the horses have feed have water and are ready to go for the day we're also going to be, like I said, running out and making sure that gravity wagons are out there for Jake as he's finishing up harvesting. And we have to continue on our final prep here for the horses. Now, so this is our breeding stable here, as most of you do know. It is our mayor pens in here. We're going to be running around, though, and making sure that the horses are ready to go. We're most likely going to be bringing in some of these horses here for breeding as you do remember y'all we took a long long trip out to kentucky so with that being said we uh we brought back quite a few horses they are in the large pen in the very very back so we're gonna be uh probably bringing up some of those horses for the breeding as you can see here we got our both of our male studs over there in this pen ready to go and we're probably just going to be making sure that especially these horses but all of them have food and water but we're going to bring in some more horses to make sure that we continue our breeding season here in flint's hills but aside from that like i said our biggest focus is going to be a harvesting oats so we're going to make sure that we keep going on that with running on out we're going to we're going to get one gravity wagon out to jake to start here i think that's probably going to be the best bet i'll come back i'll have some time to be able to get chores done so we're going to go ahead we're hopping in the old chevy we're going to back up and we're going to run on down the road all right we just got out to the field we're going to go ahead we're going to shut down the chevy we'll hop in the 80 400 here got her warmed up we're gonna go ahead and get this down to the other end of the field here so it's a little bit closer for jake as far as i know he should be out here harvesting this early early morning pulling on out there's jake going to town on combining we're just gonna go ahead get ahead of him probably towards the end of this row so that he can uh, get unloaded here all right we got him unloaded a little bit on the go there at least he should be good for right now we're gonna leave him be and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pull this on down to the end of the field and we're gonna leave it there for jake so that he can get unloaded here so now that we shut down the 8400 like i said we're gonna run back across the field we'll hop in the truck i'll catch up with y'all back at the farm for some chores all right pulling back into the farm i think we're just gonna go ahead probably grab the skid steer i think that'll be the best bet here for us Ooh, man we got a lot going on here at the ranch like i said hopefully jake doesn't get upset that i'm driving through the grass a little bit there we're gonna go ahead we'll pull up right by this shed here open up these doors here uh, well i got the case warming up there i forgot that we had ourselves a bit of an issue if you all remember we did get the case all fixed up uh but we ended up dropping the forks here this is kind of in a bad spot i don't i think we're just gonna have to try and and go ahead and and just use the the skits here to spin that around we got to get that attached up the uh, pallet forks i know a lot of people get a little bit upset that we use pallet forks instead of a bale spike but you know, there's quite a lot of people that use pallet forks it works just as just as well and in some cases a little bit better at least in real life you can get the uh, pallet forks right underneath the bale and pick it up and sometimes if the bales are a little bit looser it's just easier to get underneath it with a pallet fork but anyway like i said we got this hooked up so i suppose we're gonna go ahead get ourselves spiked up on a bale here and we're gonna start feeding out the bales all right one bale done i suppose we, we should probably grab some oats as well we have a couple of bags here at the farm we're gonna go ahead and use these up first 
if i can get spiked onto one there we go all right we got that taken care of let's go ahead let's close these gates we got a few more to do we do have water to get fed out as well here all right so we got the oats out as i just got done with this i i got a phone call from jake it sounds like i might have to go out and swap the gravity wagons here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna head down all right so we just got that done finished it all up we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna continue on our day here we're gonna keep on watering out the horses all right so we finished up watering we finished up feeding out hay we got everything taken care of for chores here but now like i said we need to get going i'm bringing some more horses in here to be bred getting them ready here now do have all these new horses back here in the large pasture i think we're gonna go ahead we're gonna shut this gate we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple of them as you guys know we did make that big big trip out to kentucky we did bring home quite a few horses for breeding for this fall prepping for next year for for a large large expansion that we're planning on doing here we definitely want to grow the ranch up here but we're gonna go ahead hop on a horse here we're gonna go ahead and bring the horse around nice trot we're gonna bring it through the gates and take it into the foaling pen all right opening up the second gate here we'll go ahead get this horse on in here there we go we'll go ahead i think we got two more for sure that we need to bring in today now we did have a horse in there i do believe we'll probably take it into the foaling pen and just verify that the horse has been bred and make sure that we are good to go normally we'd probably wait a little bit to do that but that horse has been in there for a while so we should be good we should be able to figure it out pretty quick here all right we got the second horse in here now our two studs are over there this horse over here was the one that we need to take into the barn so we're gonna go ahead there we go we tied her up we're gonna get her on in here into the barn opening up the door we got the horse tied off right there i'm gonna go ahead open this gate up in the corner all right so we went ahead we brought the horse over we're just gonna give this horse a quick bathe here washing her down getting her cleaned off here all right there we go got her all cleaned up looking good we're gonna get her into the pen back here in the corner there we go we're gonna go ahead and leave these other two horses in here for right now they should be ready to go here after a couple of days we want to leave them in here just making sure that uh we get the breeding process successfully done seeing how this is the growth of the ranch here the king pickle ranch we're gonna continue on with our day here now i do believe i have to go out and get swapped out with the gravity wagons one last time and i'm probably gonna come back and hmm what do we have left here at the farm well it doesn't really seem like we have much left here we got the 6410 what we might do is we might actually go take the 6410 swap it out with one of the gravity wagons and bring back one of the tractors so we can hook up and start doing some tillage here i do believe we are going to have to plow the field so we're going to have to hook up to our case tiger 870 here and we're going to like i said well come on back we'll do a tractor so actually you know what we might as well do the tractor swap now save us some time so we can get on back get hooked up to some tillage equipment here and we're gonna get out into the field all right arriving out at the grain setup here we're gonna go ahead go ahead and grab the oh looks like the 8400 is actually already here uh we're gonna have to do a tractor swap because i do believe with that case the only thing that's gonna pull it is the 8400 so how about a 6410 we'll leave it running i'm gonna pull the pin there we go we're gonna hop up in the 8400 we're gonna pull this on for it i'm gonna park it kind of in the grass here got the brent gravity wagon hooked up there we go we're gonna go ahead and get this swapped out with the 4450 down here there we go we got this one out here 6410 should do all right pulling this wagon we're gonna go ahead hop in the 4450 there we go i got it warmed up we're gonna take this one down and get it unloaded all right we're dropping this getting the oats unloaded here just keeping an eye on it like i said we're gonna like it we're gonna go ahead hop in the 8400 here once we're done i'll catch up with you all back at the farm all right we're all hooked up to the case here we got the hydraulics whoa they're hooked up we better we better test them quick hold on should be good there let's go ahead we're gonna pull out and we're gonna start doing our late fall tillage with it being winter time now oh you've got to be kidding me 
going out to do fall tillage and oh man that thing has got to be expensive we just spent so much money on new horses in kentucky what is going wait a minute wait a so this man so this man doesn't pay me and i help him out and he goes ahead and just keeps buying more stuff no it's it's fine it's fine i see how it is i'm gonna have to ask for a raise hopefully he at least takes me out camping i'll be awfully awfully upset if he didn't even take me camping but he's going ahead and buying a new camper all right getting out to the fields i think we're gonna do this front one here first and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unfold the case get her dropped down and we're gonna get to plowing this field here Ooh, baby just listening to the 8400 crank up in rpms here man it is a beautiful beautiful sound listening to this thing her here as we're beginning our <laughs> our winter tillage here hopefully we can get it done before the snow hits and even so hopefully the snow should hold off just enough for us here in flint hills to be able to get our tillage done so we can get this ground prepped up and ready to go so it can properly dry out when springtime rolls around so as we're working away in the field here i'm gonna go ahead and call this one a video y'all thank you so much for watching today i greatly appreciate it and again if y'all like today's video make sure you smash that like button for me and of course if you have not yet subscribed to the kingmate community on youtube make sure you go ahead and smash that red button down there but anyways we're gonna go ahead and continue tilling up this field and i'll catch up with you all on the next one peace